Hi, my name is Alex from AP Commerce. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the item restrictions for Dynamics 365 Business Central. We'll talk about some of the business challenges why you need to block or only allow certain items to be sold to certain customers. Uh, we'll talk about the standard Business Central blocking functionality and why it doesn't necessarily work for restricting certain items for certain customers. And last, we'll walk through the item restriction functionalities that we've developed specifically for Dynamics 365 Business Central. Now, why do companies want to block certain items for certain customers or vendors? There could be some legal restrictions. Some customers are not allowed to buy certain items from this company because they have not fulfilled certain legal uh, requirements or they have not filled out certain form. There could be certain trade agreements uh, that you have with some of your vendors to not sell their products to certain customers. There are also some country restrictions. You may not want certain products to be sold to certain countries because of government stipulations. There are other reasons why you may want to restrict some items from certain vendors and customers. These are just some of the reasons that we see from our customers. The company needs to enforce certain rules. So when you enter a sales order for this customer, the system needs to check whether or not this customer can buy these products from you guys. Now on the flip side, you may have customers that you only allow them to buy certain items from your list of inventory. So instead of blocking each and one of the items that they can buy, I'm setting this customer so they only buy certain products from you. Now the standard business central blocking mechanism is that you either define it on the customer or vendor level, or you define it on the item level. If you block the item, on the item level, basically none of your customers can buy this item on the sales order. But that's not what we want. We only want to restrict certain items to be sold to certain customers. Same goes for vendors. So what we develop is uh, really an item restriction functionality as well as the items that you can approve to be bought and sold from your customer or vendors. Now in Business Central, we created this new page called Item Restrictions and I'm going to create a new item restriction. Give it a name. Now, the restrict from and approve to allows me to either restrict my list of customer vendors that you can buy and sell to, or you're only going to allow your customer vendor to buy and sell certain items. So either you restrict them from the list of the items or you only allow them to buy and sell certain items from your inventory. So in this case, I am going to restrict from. You could specify the starting date and the ending date. So if your restriction only applies from a, a certain starting date and it ends on a certain date, you could define it here. If you leave it blank, then this restriction will be indefinite. To add the customer that I want to restrict my sales to, I would just click on this add remove customers. And from here, I could either add or remove my list of customers. In this case, I want to restrict the customers that hasn't bought enough from me from certain hot items that I have. So I'm gonna say if any customers that bought less than $10,000 from me, I want it to be on this list, okay? So if the list of customer is a little big and you want to refine it a little bit, you could click on the add remove customers. I'm gonna go and remove and let's say I want to remove any customers that starts with two. And you'll notice that any customers that begins with two is removed. And this filter is anything you wanna add. So if you, there are any additional filters that you wanna to add to this list, you're able to do so. It's not limited to what we gave you by default. Now, if we want to add items to restrict these customers to buy from, I will click on this add remove items and same exact thing. So in this case, I'm gonna keep it simple. I am just gonna restrict these customers from buying bicycles because bicycles are a hot item. Click okay. And let's just say I want to add another item on here, my side panel. I only gonna restrict this item for a specific location. So let's say I am going to restrict my side, pa side panel to be shipped out of the blue location for this customer. I could put in location filter. And when I click okay, if I scroll down, it'll 
insert that line item for me. If you drill down on this number of criteria actions, it'll tell you the actions that you took to populate this item restriction screen. So in case you need to go back and f try to figure out, you know, what exactly have I done to populate this item restriction screen based on my rules. Once I've drilled down to the item criteria, I'll know exactly what I did. To enable this, I would just click on this enable button. Once I've enabled it, this item restriction is now in effect. If I click on my new sales order and I'm going to use my customer spot mayor. Now, if I try to buy my bicycle, it's going to give an error because there are item restrictions found for this particular item. Same thing with my side panel. So if you remember, my side panel is restricted from the blue location. So my default location for this customer is to yellow. If I to change this lo uh, location code to blue, it's going to give me an error message. The same concept applies to approve for. Going back to my item restriction page, I'm going to create a new rule for items that certain customers can only buy. So in this case, I am going to create my new item restriction. I'm going to select approve to. And just to keep it simple, I am going to specify a customer and I am going to add a specific item. So I'm going to add my side, uh, add my base. I'm going to enable this. Now, if I try to create a sales order and I'm going to try to sell them a side panel, it will give them error. Okay. So if I change it to my sides or I'm sorry, base, it'll allow me to push the item through. So any other item that I try to buy, it will give me an error message. And that's it. Hopefully this functionality will allow you to better manage your license good to be bought and sold by certain customers or vendors. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.